All right. Hey, water signs. Speaking to the Pisces, the Scorpios, and the Cancers. I decided this week that I was going to pull cards for the elements together. If you guys like it, I'll break it down and actually do your astrological signs. But for now, we're doing three in each group. And if it resonates with your top three, you can show up if it's in your top six too. That's cool. I'm going to roll the dice and see what else could be showing up in your chart. Okay. If you're a water sign, what else might you have in your chart? Let's see. Well, you could have your sun in Sagittarius in the 12th house. You didn't even see it. 12th house. You can totally be here if your sun is in Sagittarius and maybe your moon is in a water sign or your rising's in a sun, water sign or your venus or mars is in a water sign however you want to do it baby it's cool if it resonates it resonates so anyway what i'm going to ask is what desires are chasing you they want you more than you want them that's why they're even in your heart to begin with so let's see what desires are chasing you what is it that you really want water signs to so the water signs in my collective what do they really want right now? Page of Swords in reverse. You want a message of clarity, but like a more mature version of that. So the Page of Swords in reverse. Little girl in a ballerina tutu holding a sword. Okay. The Page of Swords is usually young or immature energy. If you have it coming towards you, it might be a message of gossip, manipulation. If you have it coming towards you, in the reverse you might have a lot of gossip coming towards you a lot of manipulation coming towards you you have a need for clarity you want to feel safe and not just physically safe right you want to feel psychologically safe in the groups that you're in i have a pisces sun and moon so i completely understand that that is definitely something that i crave when i'm around other people I want to feel psychological safety, freedom to express myself and not be judged either outwardly or privately. Because I, I think that if you have something to say, you should say it to my face, right? I also have a lot of fire in my chart. So yeah, like I understand that need for clarity. Swords energy is very mental, very intellectual, logical energy. And so... If it's coming in the reverse, you're feeling like you're not getting that clarity. You're not getting a, even a little message of like, hey, this is actually what's going on. Why do you want that? Aside from the fact that it would give you psychological safety, which seems, you know, important. Why else do you want clarity? Because this is like closure. It's not just that you want a message. It's just like you want some closure. You want it to stop. You want it to make sense make it make sense so why why do you want that why is it chasing you because it's in your heart why is that in your heart so much water signs because it's just it's caught i've got the seven of cups because it's just causing a lot of there's a lot of stories that are coming up in your head but not just stories it's like it's emotions it's bringing up a lot of emotions because cups is emotional energy it could even get you into places where you are making up stories that don't even exist like stuff that's not even real inside of your head when you get into cups energy water energy you are tapping into some Neptunian energy, right? And Plutonian energy. And it can cause you to kind of daydream a lot. And if you have negativity in those daydreams, it can cause like nightmares and anxiety and things that you just don't want, right? Because as a Pisces, I know that I love to daydream and kind of lose myself in my thoughts, the fun ones, the creative ones, right? Because I can, I can make art and I can make up stories in my head that are actually fun. Right? I can be a little bit Delulu, but when you have people that might be gossiping or not being kind to you in a low key fashion or even in a high key fashion, you know, some people got trolls in their comment section, but like it just can cause your mind to wander into not so great cups. Okay. So like not so great energy, not so great emotions. So it would be nice to just have some clarity about the things that are on your mind and maybe the people that you're imagining so that you can just have a feeling of peace inside of yourself. 
So how will it help you? I mean, that's a lot. That was a lot of cards. It was like 12 cards. Now I'm sure it will help you that way, but let's see. Just one. Thank you. The high priestess in reverse. So right now you might feel like your intuition is blocked. So, because if you've got all these thoughts floating around in your head, what's true? What is my anxiety? And what is my intuition? What is actually going on in here? Should I, should I even be thinking about this scenario? Should I, is it something that is really my intuition speaking to me or am I just upset? You know what I think you should do? I think you should do some energy cleansing. You should do some cord cutting. You know, you don't have to do the full on ritual with the candles. You can, there are some really great how to's on cord cutting rituals on YouTube, on Pinterest. Be careful, please. Okay. When you're doing anything with fire, but you can also just do it with Reiki. You can do it with sound healing. You can just set an intention to cord cut. But if you are a visual person or a tactile kind of person, you might actually want to do the full on ritual. Okay. For me, sound healing Ricky is, is enough because I'm setting a very powerful intention and sending it to my ancestors that we are done with this scenario. It doesn't matter what's happening outside of myself because I am calling back my power. It belongs to me and anyone that sends me anything that is not of the light and is not amazing energy because that's what I deserve. It's getting sent back to them tenfold. They can have it back. That's what my intuition tells me as a high priestess. That's not what I'm taking, right? That's what you need to be into. And I hope you can get into it. Excuse me, guys. I have a lot of fire placement, so I'll get a little heated about it, but seriously, cord cut, cleanse, take care of yourself. Okay. Water signs can be a very giving energy. I think that many of them can find themselves in people pleasing energy very quickly, especially if you have a lot of water placements, you know, you really need to take care of yourself. And sometimes you need to realize when you need to step back and just focus on yourself like a Leo would. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Make it about you, especially right now during Leo season, it is okay to set an intention to focus on yourself cord cut cleanse anything that is not serving you let it go baby okay so what are we asking now how would it hinder you to find out this information this is actually a good question i think how would it hinder you to know this information in reverse the knight of cups would be bringing a message of love and playfulness it's a very jovial kind of energy it's not a page it's the knight so he's kind of a goofy fun guy right but if it's in reverse, you might find out that your friends aren't your real friends. Maybe you got some fake friends. Maybe you got people that were using you. Maybe you got people that don't really love you, that you really loved. You had a lot of feelings for them. And it really hurts to find that information out. It really hurt to find out that people are gossiping about you, being kind about you when you've been kind to them, right? When you were delivering this cup to them however long you were delivering it and they didn't return the favor. It wasn't reciprocated. That's painful. I could see why that would be a hindrance. Again, cord cut cleanse. Be done with it. Baby, it's not, it's not worth it. I'm telling you right now, it's just not. Okay. Especially if you've got, you got placements in the 12th house, you got placement in the eighth house. Let's go, baby. Let's just cord cut cleanse, become a new. That's what we need to do. We need to transform that energy, become the alchemist. Like I was telling the fire signs, that is what you can be proud of. Okay. How can you get it? How can you get to that place where you have the closure you need and your intuition is back intact without losing your heart? in all of it. How can you get that? No, that's too many. No, no, that's not what we're doing. Thank you. That's not what we're doing. I want that one. The hanged man. Get a different perspective. You get the hangman in reverse. A hangman upright would be getting a different perspective. Maybe you've had enough perspectives. How you can get it is cord cut and cleanse. That is the energy I'm getting. It's just time to let it go, baby. Like Elsa. Okay. You can feel that energy as a water sign, freeze it up, become the ice queen. Why am I not getting the queen of swords? Cut it up, throw it out, be done with it. That's what I'm getting. Because otherwise, if you sit around waiting for these people, 
this person to tell you what they've been saying about you behind your back. And if somehow it doesn't break your heart, you're still going to be disappointed. You've got stagnation in your life. Don't stop your life for other people. How you get it is moving on. That's how you get it. You don't need closure, baby. Forget it. I'm channeling that Sagittarius right now. <laughs> That's some heavy, intense energy. But baby, you don't need it. You don't have to put up with that. You don't need that in your life. We don't need that kind of negativity in our lives. Just let it go. One thing that you can let go, you can't control people. You can control yourself. You can control your own actions. And the words that come out of your mouth, you can control those. Okay? You can't control other people. So don't worry about them. Let them do what they're going to do. Let them. That is the resounding mantra of the collective right now. Let them. That's it. Purse lips and all. Let them. Okay, so what's the outcome? If we let them, let them do what they're going to do. And we don't need closure. We just live our lives with our intuitions intact, our hearts intact, and all of our beautiful options, our cups, our seven of cups, our daydreams. What happens when we let them? Oh my gosh, I've got cards popping out of the baby doll. I had the nine of cups in reverse. I don't really like that, but that's the outcome. I think if we let them help us see that what you want is the closure. And if you get the closure, instead of letting them just do whatever they're going to do, that's me taking on. Okay, so let me step out of it and just let it, let it talk, okay? If you wait around and you fall into this stagnation, right? waiting for people to tell you what they really think and to give you closure and you somehow think that that's going to change your life or whatever you're going to end up in a kind of dissatisfied energy because in the nine of cups you're you're satisfied you're looking at all of your cups and you're saying cheers to the entire world but in reverse it's like it's not a good energy so i wouldn't wait around for that can I get some more clarification on the nine of cups in reverse? Because I asked about letting them, but you know, you tell me what you want to tell me. You tell me what you want me to tell the people, the water signs. Ah, here we go. Thank you very much. Ace of wands. So if you let them and you don't end up in this kind of smug, dissatisfied energy, because I say smug because yeah, now you know they've been talking about you. Who cares, right? Okay. Because now you've got new passion coming in. If you just focus on yourself, baby doll, You've got new projects, new creativity. Alchemize that. Everything that's being thrown at you, you don't even just have to send it back. You can alchemize it. Turn it into art. Turn it into a song. Turn it into poetry. Dance it out. Okay, babe? That's what you can do. That's the outcome. Okay, that's the positive outcome of this. You can wait around and be disappointed, or you can focus on yourself and be lit. Take it from a fire sign. Be lit. Okay, what's on the bottom of the deck? Strength in reverse. Because right now it's making you feel extremely insecure. But the only thing that matters is how you think of yourself. You're the only one. Really, you're like Tigger, okay? That's it. It's the only thing that matters. It's the only opinion that matters. You can also say that God matters, the universe matters, your spirit guides matter, your ancestors matter, your cat matters, your dog matters, your family. But like outside energies that are doing this, no baby, that's page energy. That's high school. You don't need that. We're gonna flip that around, okay? We're gonna get into our magician energy transmute that and be strong af i believe in you you can do it i'm gonna get some affirmation cards for you all then i'm gonna close it out that was fun i enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed it too let's see what your affirmation cards say I'll just knock them because i just did the the fire sign readings okay let's see what the water signs need to hear affirmation wise Ooh, that one flew out a toast to no worries hakuna moscato if you drink or you can just put juice in the cup. You got this. It starts with releasing the BS. Visualize world peace. That's so corny. Almost. Anyway, world peace, right? That's what it means. And that's why I almost said, because that is ridiculously corny. But you know what? I love it. I'm here for it. So anyway, that's what I've got, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope that you have wonderful evenings, weekends, weeks, afternoons. 
days. Have a wonderful time, water signs. This was fun. Let me know if you like it. I'll break it down. Two Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, individual reads. Drop in and give me Zen. Pay the piper and move on. Baby, that's what's up. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.